close friends finally the third video in uh, this series i'm sorry it is taking so long um but i'm struggling with my health for those who don't know so there are only so many hours in a day and i've tried to um make videos several times with the pivot and then my horses do everything I need for the video, but then the Pivo has only uh, taped the things that I don't need, and for the rest it has taped in the, uh, the wall or the fence, so there's that. So uh, I have a little bit of video for you that I was able uh, to tape, and I'm using for this video, so I finally have something <laughs> to help you with. Because the most questions I get are uh, to show uh, Ramine, uh, forward, down and out, and Stellung. So, um, watch the rest of the video. Just to clarify, I don't really train my horses anymore. And at the moment I have only two horses left. The 20 year old Kinski Innocencio, who has been a rehab horse since he was four months old when we rescued him and he had a very severe accident. And then there's 15 year old uh, Don Conquistato, who I have for 10 years now, who has uh, the muscle disease of disorder, PSSM, and um, he has uh, hyperflexibility of the joints, joints, which is a really uh, horrible thing to have next to stiff muscles, uh, weak muscles, and he also has a very severe trauma from when he was a young horse uh, in Spain. So these are not ideal horses uh, to show certain things with. On the other hand, many people who follow my work or and read my book are the type of people that have rehab horses or horses who have other forms of difficulties. So maybe it's a good thing to show you here. I haven't been training my horses maybe once or twice a month if that I'm not really training actually so um, what, we, what you're seeing here is pure from the body language and uh, they think they know from their past so uh, do enjoy first here with uh, Don Conquistato I show you how to treat in Remini um, Don Conquistato always overbends a bit because he uh, is hypermobile uh, in the joints, but very stiff in the muscle. So either he overbends a bit or he tilts the head. So it's very difficult for him to do it correctly, but that is not a reason to not work on it and continue to keep working on it. So I don't really train my horses, but always when I treat, I treat in Remini. So they always have uh, that bit of training. And even though it's a very little thing, um, if you practice it, you will see that it has an enormous effect on uh, the posture of the horses and also on their, uh, their mental well-being because uh, Ramene is uh, what you would call maybe a smile or, you know, they engage the happy muscles. It's uh, a way to, to show um, self-reflection. <laughs> self <laughs> Sorry. And um, yeah, so when you always treat in Remini, they connect uh, the treat to the movement. This will become their way to beg for a treat, which will make them very uh, polite in their begging. Uh, it is safe for you. They won't bite anymore. You always have to bring their hand to their mouth. They will never uh, come with their mouth to the treat. So there's that. And um, if you always say a certain word, that they connect to um, Ramine. You can actually use it while you're riding or working in hand or, or lunging. Uh, and I might even start showing Ramine when it is convenient for you to ask him to do it. And it will help improve their posture and um, their movement and their well being. Um, I always say when I want him to uh, show Ramene doing lunging, work in hand or riding, I say in my own language, which is Dutch, I say uh, uh, loop is mooi, which uh, translates to um, why don't you walk beautiful. And 
often when I'm training with my horses or doing whatever and they're doing something, I will always say, oh, it's so beautiful. It's moi, moi. And uh, they will uh, very often then show Ramine because they connect me saying that it's beautiful to, uh, to showing Ramine. So th that will really help. And um, so Ramine is important to help with the posture, to relax the muscles that need relaxing, to engage the muscles that need engaging. And um, it helps making the horse feel good about himself, feel happy and wanting to self-express. So it opens the gate to a healthy movement and uh, of course, collection. These exercises for the head and the neck can be done freestyle with the cordeo, with bit, with the double or, or bitless, it doesn't really matter. When you do use rain aids, and I try to show it in this video, really do it very lightly with just your fingers, with the fingertips. It's more like um, you, you, you're not even squeezing the reins, you're just sort of playing with, with, with your fingers on them very lightly. You can use your voice and your body uh, to help the horse to um, shape his neck in a way without force. Because if a neck is forced, if a headset is forced, it is never healthy and it is never correct. Let me repeat that. Force is never healthy and never correct. The horse has to make the shape of the neck and relax the lower neck muscles, the brachiocephalicus and the splenius. And he has to engage uh, the trapezius, the top of the neck himself. You cannot enforce this the same way you cannot enforce someone in the gym to use the right muscles. You have to do this for yourself. Now, if you watch Don Conquistador here, you see if he tries to do Ramine, that he... Um, uh, engages uh, the lower neck muscles a bit because he's not strong enough to collect. I don't know if he ever will be, to be honest. Um, so then it is important to him to go uh, forward, down and out. And the important thing with going forward, down and out is that the throat latch is open. Only then is it correct. That is very important. You see a lot of horses that are curled, the neck is low, but the horse is curled behind the vertical, this is not correct. Okay, when it happens, when the horse does it, um, it doesn't have to be your fault, but you have to try and correct it and show the horse the way to open the throat latch and bring the nose in, for, in front of the vertical, because this is very important. Only then uh, is the stretch correct, and will the stretch help to lift the withers, open the vertebrae, and even lift the thorax a bit. So this is a very important work. And uh, a horse needs to be able to do that before he can correctly uh, collect. So you have to be able to uh, open the vertebrae of the spine, lift the withers, lift the thorax. That is uh, one of the first parts of collection. The second part is obviously bending the haunches underneath the body. But if the horse bends underneath the body, but uh, he, he doesn't stretch correctly forward, down and out before he can do the collection. You see a lot of horses and they bend the haunches, but they are still hollow in the frame. And uh, this is something Don Conquistador does. So the forward, down and out is for him the most important thing. And then we switch from forward, down and out to Ramene and uh, switch back. And this is how he can find uh, the correct posture, the correct balance over time. And then we have um, the forward, down and out, which is in effect the opposite of the low, deep and round or the so-called roll cure. So therefore I call it stretch cure. So we want the nose out uh, before the vertical, the throat latch really open so that the horse engages the nuchal ligament and really pulls on it and that way lifts the withers and opens the vertebrae. And this is what is seen as, as lifting the back, lifting the thorax, because if uh, the withers lift, the thorax lifts with it. 
And then there are trainers who say, well, a horse cannot lift the back. We don't just mean the back, we mean the whole rib cage. So the withers are, is connected to the rib cage and we want them to lift that. This also involves obviously the abdominal muscles of the horse and um, the forwardness of the hind legs, hind legs underneath the body, swinging underneath the body. So forwardness is not speed. Forwardness is the hind legs uh, moving forward under the body. So I explain all of this in detail in my book. These videos are just to show you a bit of um, what certain things are. Just nothing more. Um, because people requested it. And um, with Innocencio, who for your entertainment here is dressed up as a, a unicorn. Because he is a unicorn. As I said, he's 20 years old and he has a very short neck. He's very stiff in the joints, so quite the opposite of Don Conquistador. And for him, it is really difficult to stretch forward, down and out. So when he tries to stretch down, his head goes behind the vertical. So for him, I use the Stellung, which releases uh, the, the jaw and the neck muscles and the tongue muscles. And the tongue is connected to uh, the shoulders and the thorax. And when he does that and he lowers his neck, he's able to come out a little more. Because it's so difficult for him, I help him. And then I do not treat in ramene. I treat in the forward, down and out position, as you can see in the video. I also do this with stallions that are very excited. When they get too excited and treat them in ramene, they only get more excited. So when I need the horse to calm down, to drop the energy levels, to drop the adrenaline, I treat them in forward, down and out position. Again, this is all very well explained in my book. So here you can see how I do this with uh, Innocencio, or do, do it with him. I mean, <laughs> I ask it of him. And um, it's up to him to... Uh, give me the reply I'm looking for and if he doesn't that is also fine I can repeat my request but I will never enforce anything because it would be the same when I'm a fitness trainer I'm training a human in the gym and this person doesn't do what I ask then I enforce it upon him I would not have many customers left and rightly so so the same for me counts for horses I see myself as a coach a fitness trainer and they come to me to become more healthy, more strong, more supple. And then I suggest exercises to them. I show them how it's done, but I never enforce. It's very important to see the difference here. When you're working for a healthy and happy horse, you cannot enforce. If you're just using your horse for whatever it is you want to achieve, then you can enforce, but you will never have a healthy and happy horse let alone a happy athlete. Then a little bit more about Stellung. Stellung is German uh, for what most people in English would call uh, lateral flexion. But then we have uh, two things. We have the lateral flexion throughout the whole body. We have the lateral flexion of the neck, so the whole neck going like this. And we have the lateral flexion of the head and the jaw as opposed to the neck. So what we're talking about here, and that's why I call it Stellung or in Dutch uh, Stelling, which could translate to, I would say, placement, uh, is the placement of the head and the jaw opposed to the neck. So what we ask of the horse, and uh, again, you cannot enforce this because then it won't work is that he just keeps his neck sort of in place, keeps the base of the neck in between the shoulders, so as to not to disturb the, ba the balance of the horse. He keeps all his weight distributed evenly over his four legs as much as possible. And then we ask the horse to just look a little bit sideways without tilting the head. For many horses, this is a very difficult thing, and that is why you have to do it, to help the horse to release these muscles that connect the side of the neck uh, to the head and uh, the pole. 
and also the jaw. So when uh, a horse does it correctly, so he looks sideways a little and then he relaxes the neck, the jaw, the tongue and the shoulders, making room for the shoulders to become more light and put weight more towards the, the back, towards the, the hindquarters and the hind legs. This is why shoulder in is such a good movement, because shoulder in requires a correct stellung, because if the neck is flexed, if the neck is bended too much, then it is not shoulder in and all the weight goes to the inside or outside shoulder. But when there is correct stellung, then there can be a correct shoulder in. But you don't even have to do shoulder in when you just ask your horse to stand uh, quiet and then you just ask him to uh, look sideways a little bit without tilting the head until you see the neck relax then you know that it is done right. This is why shoulder in is such an important movement and is always been named uh, the alpha and omega of, uh, of dressage and of uh, fixing problems with horses is because if shoulder in is done correctly, the horse has correct stellung. If he does bend the neck too much, then it's not shoulder in anymore and the weight goes to the inside of the outside shoulder. So this is very much connected. And if a horse is not able to uh, give correct stellung in shoulder in, this is often why shoulder in does not work, um, then we just ask it from the horse while he stands still, so it is much easier uh, to do. And when the horse can do that, we combine it with the shoulder lift, and then we can really help the horse to lift uh, the forehand, and uh, release the forehand and bring the weight to the back. Uh, again, I explain this all full detail in my book, how to ask the horse to do that and how to help the horse to get out of control collection. So, um, stellung, uh, forward, down and out, or stretch cure, and ramene. These are very important uh, things to help the horse with, to improve his posture, to relax, to feel happy, and to uh, start uh, taking the weight off of the forehand, which is very important to keep the horse healthy and happy. And um, I hope this video helped a bit. And if not, you can always buy my book, uh, book a lesson. I give Pivo lessons all over the world and to help people and help people help their horses with this. And uh, you can also come to my Facebook page or to my uh, Facebook group and ask your questions there. Um, thank you so much for watching and thanks to everybody all over the world who has bought my book and all the people who continue to buy it. I'm pretty sure this will be a revolution for the horse. And um, again, thank you very much. It makes me very happy. It makes a lot of horses happy. And uh, well... Keep up the good work, you guys. Love you. Bye.